Hello, welcome back guys to another video here we are continuing on from where we left off in the last video where we showed you the Blue Moss and the Aya Sophia. First of all I would like to say thank you to everybody who watched the video that's actually one of our most popular videos within a week and I'm really thankful for you guys uh, for giving the support on that one. Anyway here we are moving on to the top copy palace obviously as i said last video we done the blue mosque and the Aya sophia and the next stop was the top copy palace which uh, all these three things are actually right next to each other in the same spot just a quick rundown on the history of this particular palace and i'll also tell you how much it costs uh, if you uh, do visit Top Copy Palace was built by uh, Sultan Ahmed II in 1460s. Uh, it's actually a museum now. Initially, when it was built, it was actually a headquarters for the sultans. Later on, the sultans actually moved out, and they went on to the uh, Dolma Bache Palace, which is actually um, another video we'll show you later on and this was actually left to the Turkish government which is um, now a museum that people can visit yeah that was the quick history lesson that uh, I just revised on Google that's fine though it's no problem yeah here we are coming through the security entrance gate entering into the garden area on the left hand side over here you have the mosque and um, just uh, out of that is a little cafe you can get yourself some refreshments from there and uh, yeah, walking down this walkway on the right hand side further up is going to be the tickets where you're going to get the tickets tickets are uh, the prices are uh, under five of free and it is going to be 23 pounds for anybody over that age there is a bit of a queue uh, to be honest with you, it only took about 10 minutes. I think they do have about four counters open, so not a big deal. Uh, so here we are going through, uh, I believe there was another security entrance. This one is actually just to check your tickets. Uh, so if you don't have a ticket, then we'll let you pass this bit over here. Now going on to the bit, this bit over here, there's a big uh, courtyard over here where on the left hand side you have the harem, which uh, we did a visit first quick little history lesson on that I will give you where is Google let me open it So the harem are or were private apartments for uh, the sultans and their families and the only people that were allowed to enter these were the sultans, their wives, mothers, children or the harem guards. Anybody else that, except these people were not allowed to enter these premises. Yeah we took a quick walk in there and so all different types of rooms and toilets, kitchens, living rooms, all were labelled. Yeah, it was really interesting in there.
to come out the harem the next building where this is like a museum or like old artifacts islamic artifacts you can walk, you go take a walk through there and have a look at all these different kind of things they've got they've got their descriptions on it about who they belong to these kind of swords and clothes and belong to different uh, islamic figures so you take a walk through there, a little bit strict on filming in there, so the videos are going to, this video particularly, this little clip over here is going to be a bit wonky, but it's, it's just because they were a bit strict in there as far as filming. <laughs> Once you come out of there, basically there are all these buildings which they've made into museums and you can just go inside there, have a look at other things. There's quite a few of them, maybe like four or five different ones. And the location is stunning as well. And you see all the history inside, absolutely amazing. <laughs>
it for this palace beautiful palace the historical value this place holds is absolutely breathtaking and also the views from here were also amazing must visit must visit this place so if you do go to Istanbul so that's gonna wrap up this video it was actually a, a rush around video we were running around quite a bit in this one mainly because the kids were tired um, when we got to this point obviously we visited in the same day we went to the to mosque the Hagia Sophia and then we were here so that this was about I do believe this was about 3 to 4 p.m. and we were out since 7 a.m. in the morning so the kids were really tired at, at this point and uh, so this was we were kind of rushing around and they I think there was around the palace where you can see the Bosphorus views around the back as well those are great to visit around that bit as well but again we were rushing around at this point so uh, we quickly went to get back to the hotel because we did have something else planned later on in that evening 
So anyways, thanks for watching. I will catch you in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.